So now we look into an example of a turbofan engine. One of a good example of a turbofan engine it is the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, which is currently used on the F-35 Lightning II jet fighter, the newest jet fighter produced by the United States. This engine is developed from the old Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine, which is used by the F-22 Raptor, another modern fighter produced by the United States. For the specification, the engine is a two-spool axial flow augmented turbofan, which means it have an afterburner with a full length of 559 cm and a max diameter of 117 cm. It have a dry weight of 1,701 kg. Dry weight here means that it, the weight without the fuel and the oil on the engine. It is made up of a three-stage fan and a six-stage high-pressure compressor for its compressor system an annular combustor for its combustion system, a one-stage high-pressure turbine, and a two-stage low-pressure turbine for its turbine system, and a bypass ratio of 0 0.57 to 1. For its performance, it can produce 128 kN of maximum military thrust. Military thrust here means maximum thrust without the afterburner, and 191 kN of max thrust with its afterburner on. It have an overall pressure ratio of 28 to 1 and a turbine inlet temperature of 1980 degrees Celsius or 2260 Kelvin. It have a thrust to weight ratio of 7.47 to 1 when operating on its military thrust or 11.47 to 1 when operating with its afterburner. The engine did not stop there since future development is planned for the engine and also the aircraft itself. One of the applications that is planned for the engine is the usage of the adaptive cycle engine. Adaptive cycle here means that the bypass ratio can be changed by the pilot based on what they need at the time. Such as, if the pilot requires the engine to perform at its maximum thrust, such as during combat or aerobatic flight, the bypass ratio can be set to low, where more air flow through the core instead of the bypass. In this mode, the engine will operate at its higher thrust but at the expense of its efficiency. But if the pilot requires the engine to operate more efficiently, the bypass ratio can be set to high, which means a greater ratio of the air flow goes through the bypass. This means that the engine will produce less thrust, but perform at a greater efficiency. So I think that's all for the example of the engine. We can continue on with the next part of the video.